This animation demonstrates the step-by-step -step approach for removing gallbladder stones. To begin, the location of the existing cholecystostomy tube within the gallbladder is confirmed by injecting contrast under fluoroscopy. This step ensures proper positioning of the drain and assesses gallstone burden and cystic duct patency. Next, the hub of the drain is trimmed using scissors and a guide wire is carefully advanced through the drain into the gallbladder to secure the access. After having the guide wire coiled with the gallbladder, the drain is removed. At this point, a Nephromax catheter mounted on a balloon is advanced over the guide wire. The balloon is inflated to dilate the access track, creating a pathway for further instruments. Once dilation is complete, the Nephromax tube is advanced over the inflated balloon into the gallbladder. The balloon is then deflated and removed over the wire. Through this Nephromax tube, a single-use percutaneous endoscope is introduced into the gallbladder, providing direct video visualization and guidance to identify the stones. As the next step, a laser fiber is advanced through the work channel of the scope, and the Holmium laser is used to fragment the gallstone into smaller pieces. Alternatively, an electrohydraulic lithotripsy probe can be deployed through the scope to fragment the stone using adjustable energy levels and pulses. Once the stones are fragmented, a variety of stone retrieval baskets and irrigation techniques are employed to clean the gallbladder of stone fragments, ensuring complete clearance. In some institutions, a rigid scope combined with a shock pulse lithotriptor is used to pulverize stones into fine particles. After the procedure, the Nephromax tube is removed. Then, a pigtail drain is placed within the gallbladder. The position of drain within the gallbladder and patency of the cystic duct are confirmed by injecting contrast. Subsequently, the drain is connected to a gravity drainage bag for 24 to 48 hours before being capped. The patient then undergoes a two-week capping trial to evaluate the gallbladder's ability to drain internally without assistance. If the patient successfully completes the capping trial, the drain is removed, marking the beginning of a drain-free life.